happy Friday. Chris May here, Emily Vukovic here as well, and guess who else is here? That's right. Joining us <laughs> via telephone from Montreal, Quebec, live right now, it's Andrew Fazekas. How are you, sir? Hi, Andrew. Hi, well, good morning to you. Good morning to you. How are things in Montreal? It's very nice. It was a little foggy, uh, mm -hmm. and now it's burned off completely, and it's sunny. Oh, cool. Oh, so clear skies. What a great intro to what people can actually see in the <laughs> night sky tonight. Yeah, because clear skies is pretty important for what we're talking it's, about. It, it's key. I find it key, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so weather is extremely crucial here. Stargazing-wise, this weekend it marks a, a great time for people to go out if you're an early morning riser to see something special. Now, we touched on this last week. We were talking about mercury rising into the morning skies well if you missed your chance last week th uh, to find little mercury you've got our friendly moon pointing the way and uh, really if we set our skies up for tomorrow morning at sunrise you can see an absolutely spectacular crescent moon hanging low in the southeast so where the sun rises where you are just head it step out your door and look for where the that 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 dawn sky and you'll see a beautiful crescent moon now right above it will be planet saturn it'll look like a creamy colored star so you get a two for one deal with the moon here <laughs> and then uh if we move to the next morning on sunday morning the 26th you'll see that the moon has slipped down towards the horizon and it's uh, approaching another star which is mercury in fact it's not a star it's a planet planet mercury and then finally on october 27th sunrise monday morning the moon is going to be just hanging just below mercury to the to just to the to the right of mercury so if you use the moon which you can find fairly easily then you can have that guide you to these two wonderful planets over the course of the next few mornings now if you're not a morning person you're more of a you like to have civilized stargazing time after supper well then why not try and look for a couple of other planets at sunset uh, in the southwest so where the sun sets uh, is a great you'll see two brilliant beacon like stars one will be very close to the horizon that is planet venus and then to the upper left of that a little bit to the left you'll see in the southwest skies you'll see jupiter and uh, that looks like a bright uh, creamy colored star as well now keep an eye on these two guys because next week we'll talk more about them because there's some really cool stuff happening with them all right mm -hmm. okay well we're going to keep in the theme of all the planets and we're going to talk about something that i really like to talk mm -hmm. about which is heat hot temperatures what's our cosmic <laughs> quiz andrew yeah with the temperature falling here why not let's talk let's imagine we're somewhere hot yeah which, which planet has the hottest temperature hmm. could it be mercury how about Venus, or how about Mars, the red planet? I totally know the answer to that. I'd travel there if I could, but we'll get to that oh, answer in just a second. Would sec. you now? I would. I would travel there if I could. I would go. I really would. What SPF would you <laughs> engage in? Okay, we'll get to that. When we find out where it is, we'll figure out what sort of sun projection you need for that. What do we have for space news before we get back to the answer to the Cosmic Quiz? Well, really exciting news this this month. Uh, a Canadian actually discovered the com a comet. And this is pretty cool because it's been nearly a decade since the last comet was bagged by a Canuck. Uh, a, uni a University of Calgary researcher has identified a completely unknown comet, which now bears his name. The, the researcher's name is C Robert Cardinal, so the, the name of the comet uh, is Comet Cardinal. He works uh, for the university's Rothney Astrophysical Observatory, and he studies asteroid, and this was a completely accidental find. And this is an, uh, an unknown comet. It's, uh, they, it's, it's been hanging around just inside the uh, orbit of Pluto for about 39 years, and they think that by next June, it'll be visible to, uh, with binoculars for people in the southern hemisphere. You can see on this image we have on the screen where Comet Cardinal is. It's just above the plane of the solar system. And get this, it's over one billion kilometers away from Earth right now. And in the sky, if you want to know where it is, it's just below the North Star. Now, you won't be able to see it because you need a very large telescope because it's still very, very far away, but it's kind of cool. And you can see here on this image here where, what it looked like through the telescope when he found it, moving slightly behind a backdrop of stars. 
Wow. All about that. All right, before we let you go, we got to get to the answer to the cosmic quiz. The planet with the hottest temperature is... Is Venus. What? I knew it. Mercury's closer. I knew it. Men are from Mars, Mars. women are from Venus. Oh, therefore they're hotter. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> For more information on what you've seen here today, go to the website, www.thenightskyguy.com.